When you think of Louisiana, there are several iconic animals that may come to mind, such as the brown pelican, or Louisiana black bear, or even the American alligator. All three were at risk of disappearing from the state, but thanks to the protections offered by the Endangered Species Act, all three have been removed from the endangered and threatened list. Inspired by a three-part series, Saving the Southern Wild, written by environmental reporter Sarah Steth and published by NOLA.com, The Times, Picayune, in August 2018, I decided to create a quilt based on these three species. I modified the quilt pattern, Windswept View, to make it appear that the viewer was gazing out of a window at these animals still found across Louisiana's landscape. The first window is a photo I took of a brown pelican in Chauvin, Louisiana, not far from the Louisiana University's Marine Consortium. The brown pelican is the official state bird of Louisiana and appears in the state flag and state seal. The brown pelican population had nearly disappeared in the 1960s, causing them in 1970 to be listed as endangered under the act that preceded the Endangered Species Act. In fact, when the Endangered Species Act was passed in 1973, the brown pelican was among the first species to be protected. It turns out that the widespread use of chemicals such as DDT were contaminating the fish the brown pelicans were feeding on and causing a lack of breeding success. Once the Environmental Protection Agency banned the use of DDT and other pesticides in 1972, the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries started a reintroduction program of brown pelicans to the state. And now, the brown pelican population has been restored. In fact, in 2009, the brown pelican was removed from the act. The second window is fabric representing the official state mammal of Louisiana, the Louisiana black bear. The symbol that is the foundation for the cute teddy bear toy has faced significant challenges, such as facing 80% of its habitat loss in Louisiana by 1980. With reports of possibly fewer than 120 bears remaining in the wild, the bear was listed with the Endangered Species Act in 1992. Its numbers have since rebounded and it was removed from the list in 2016. Although the Louisiana black bear has been pronounced as a recovered species, there are still efforts underway to protect the bottomland hardwood forests where the black bears live. Over time, these lands had been drained and cleared for agriculture. But converting poor croplands back to bottomland hardwood forests has benefited not only the black bear population, but over 225 species of animals and provided additional environmental benefits and sustainable recreational opportunities. In the third window, you see the American alligator. Although the American alligator has been on our planet for over 200 million years, the popularity of alligator skin leather for fashion and the demand in overseas markets caused an estimated 3.5 million alligators to be killed in Louisiana between 1880 and 1933. This decline in the alligator population was further impacted by the shrinking alligator habitats, with wetlands being drained for agriculture and coastal development. Louisiana state officials banned alligator hunting in 1962, and the alligator gained federal protection in 1967. But poaching continued to be a problem. When the idea of alligator ranching was put into place, hunting was allowed by permit, and landowners started viewing alligators as a resource instead of a liability. The alligator population saw an improvement in its numbers. In 1975, the alligator was downlisted from endangered to threatened, and in 1987, the federal government declared the American alligator recovered throughout its range and removed it from the endangered species list. It is estimated that there are currently over 2 million wild alligators in Louisiana. Scientists are still monitoring the environments and populations of all three species. Despite being removed from the endangered species list, there are still threats to their habitats, from hurricanes to humans, that require us to keep an eye on these conservation success stories. 
successful thanks to legislation such as the Endangered Species Act.